بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی ول کنٹینیو آر ڈسکشن ایکسپلورنگ دا ٹاپک کریٹ کیلکولیٹ ٹیبلس سو وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکسڈ فلٹر ویلیوز ڈسٹنکٹ آل اینڈ سمرائز کالمس ان دا پریویس پارٹ آف دس پرٹیکولر ٹاپک اینڈ ناؤ ان دس پارٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور ٹو فنکشنز ایڈ کالمس اینڈ سلیکٹ کالمس so if you are familiar with the syntax of select inside the sql then you uh, you should be very much uh, familiar you should you sh it would be easier for you to get yourself familiarized with select columns and add columns is effectively an ex extension of the select column so let's go and explore these two dax table functions so first let's have a look at the select columns and i am again on the dax.guide website and the definition of select column says that it returns a table with selected columns from the table and new columns specified by the dax expression so it says that it returns a table which could be selected columns from the table and also it could be new columns that you can specify using the dax expressions and dax expressions are obviously uh, uh, measures or some expression where you are writing the dax but once you have the dax expression as part of the select columns then always remember that then this function is computing those expressions in the row context so for every record in the table then every record that comes with the column it is going to compute a value based on the row context so the so the measure is going to be computed on a row by row basis so let's first uh, have a look at the select columns with just the selection of columns and then we are going to include a few uh, we are going to have a look at an, uh, an example where we include the dax expression as part of that so here you can see that i have created a new table uh, using the table function select columns and i have given the name of this table table select column column and for the select columns you the first argument that you need to pass is the name of the table so the table that i have selected is the products table then the second thing that you need to pass is the name of the column or columns and like we saw for the summarize columns you need to actually specify a name for that so i have selected a name brand and just put ampersand so that just to differentiate that this is something that i am creating so if i if you see the results there is this column that has been created which is the brand column so effectively it has selected the brand column the product brand column from the products table and the important thing to to note here is that all the records are have been returned so it is different from what we saw for the summarize columns there is no group by functionality involved here all uh, has happened all what has happened is that it has behaved in the same way as we use the select statement inside the sql where you just specify the name of the column and that particular column is is returned with all the records so this is exactly the same thing that we see here so now let's uh, add some kind of a dax expression to this uh, table function that we have we were exploring and see what is the difference and what are the results so here i have added the expression that we have already seen in the previous videos which is total cost and i have given it a name cost which is the requirement of select columns but just come and have a look at the results so it is still treating each column each record separately so it's not the same that we saw for the summarize columns where there was this group by activity so here it is again using the the same uh, relationships that we have defined so for all the columns it is coming back and giving the cost that is associated with each product brand and obviously for each product brand if we have a look at the product table it means that it is effectively using the same product id or the same product name so this is how the select column works and important thing to remember is that for the select column once you pass the name of the table it it starts with a with an empty table and that is the the thing that you need to remember because the next function that we are going to explore is the add columns 
So the difference between select columns and add columns is that add columns is going to add a functionality to the existing table. Whereas select columns treats the new table that is that is to be created as a blank or an empty table that has no columns and then it starts adding columns that you specify in the syntax. So the overall functionality of select columns and add columns is very similar and based on whatever you, is your requirement, you can use that. So now let's go and have a look at the add columns. So here we are in the add columns function inside the dax.guide website and the definition says that it returns a table with new columns specified by the dax expression. So again, very much similar to the select columns, we are going to have new columns and we can also add the expressions and the working is going to be the same like we saw for the select columns and the that dax expression would be computed on a row by row basis but let's uh, understand the difference between select column and add columns by uh, seeing an example inside the power bi desktop environment so here i have created another table table add column so it is very much similar to this to the syntax and we're very much similar that the, the same uh, formula but the function has been replaced by add column so i used select columns in the previous example and now i have put just add columns and i have used the same products and i have used the same uh, uh, product brands column and have created a new column but what is the difference the difference is that like i said that select select columns starts with an empty table but add columns actually starts with the existing products table so here you can see that you are going to see all the columns that are already there in the products column and this new column which is the brand column that has been added to the existing table so effectively it is going to just replicate what is there in the product brand so this is how you actually uh, can see the clearly the difference between add columns and select columns now i'm going to add the same uh, DAX expression that I added for the select columns and let's see what is the result that we are going to see. So now I have added the DAX expression and again you are going to see that the existing structure of the table is still there and a new column cost has been added as a new column and again you can see that the computation is happening on a row by row basis because we are seeing 1560 rows and these values are being computed using the product name or the associated product ID and then using the product cost that we have inside the total cost function and this is being multiplied with the quantity which is again linked to the to the product ID and this product ID is again being linked to the transactions data table and again the formula for total cost is that this cost is going to be multiplied with the quantity and we are going to see the results here so same thing that we saw for the select column but the difference is that for the add columns the table the existing table it actually uses that existing table and adds further columns to the existing table and select columns it starts with a blank table and just you know puts those puts the new columns as a part of the of the new table so these these are again at select columns and uh, add columns are again same kind of a functionality just the very subtle difference that i explained and very important from the exam point of view so you you can find either select columns or add columns as part of a dax uh, question on the exam so that's all for this video and i'll uh, see you in the next video with a few other table functions